faith, grace, love, connection is righteousness. Well, howdy, folks. This is Stephen Devil, and it is Thursday, 4 4 24, 4 4 24. Oh my goodness, time is, 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 is moving, man. Time is moving. Four days away from this eclipse. We have a lot to cover these next couple weeks before we get into the seven times Jesus shed his blood because that's very important also as we go into Passover. And that's why I chose to do that because Passover is actually when that occurrence actually took place. And I, I, I just want to honor, I, of course, I've, I've honored uh, uh, King Jesus. I will honor the death, burial, and resurrection of King Jesus every single day. And so, if the whole world is going to get together on the 31st, which we did, and, and proclaim the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, He is risen, the empty tomb, He's alive, which makes us alive, I'm going to do that. But I'm also going to do it again. If, if, if Passover is that far away from, from, from Resurrection Day and Good Friday, then guess what? I get an opportunity, you get an opportunity to be able to worship Him for this two times this year and what is to a faithful witness, what is to the incarnation of Christ. So I think I, think I just saw something there by the numbers. Hallelujah. So what about this devil's coming? Okay. So we briefly touched on the fact that there is and will be a comet visible during the eclipse. And this comet was dubbed the Devil's Comet. Let's see the foolishness of the devil trying to take away from the glory of God and have some of God's glory for himself. Or is it something else? Well, let's look at, let's look at some facts about the 12P Ponds Brooks Comet, because that's actually what it's called. The 12, remember we're doing numbers. The 12P Ponds Brooks Comet, it was only dubbed the Devil's Comet in 2023. When volcanic release, when, when, the, when there was volcanic uh, activity which released two uh, uh, gaseous plumes that looked like horns. Now remember, there are two sides to every coin. This could be a sign that confirms the rising of the Antichrist, as this name has been given for its arrival at this time, as the lunar year of the dragon has just started. I believe it is a sign for that. However, there's two sides to every coin. But on the other hand, God is saying something else in the numbers. And that's what we're doing. That's what makes us different at this subject, at this time of the year, because here we've been crunching the numbers this whole way through and we're seeing some dramatic things taking place and some awesome things taking place. Some verifications of the apostasy of the church. We see, we see a, a confessed Catholic in the blank house who then mocks God by making a declaration for blank visibility on Resurrection Day. And we went over there. That was the special report on Monday. Okay. So there is always hope, okay? With God, there is always hope. His loving expectation of who He is and what He is doing. We, we, we know as believers who He is and we know what He's doing because He tells us in His scriptures what He's doing at this time. Okay? So we have unwavering, we have concrete, confident, unwavering expectation that what God has said is, and it is happening, and that is called Bible hope. That is called Bible hope. The 12P Ponds Brooks Comet. This comet was discovered on 7, 
12, 18, 12. 12 P, 7, 12, 18, 12. It's on a 71 year cycle. 71 is a prime number. As we are taught by E.W. Bollinger, a prime number takes on the significance of its prime position. The number 71 is the 20th prime number. Let's see what the number 20 tells us. Numbers that preach Troy Brewer. The number 20, waiting and expectancy. Waiting and expectancy. It is a number associated with prayer. Now this is me, the seventh piece of armor, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, Ephesians 6, 18, 6, 18, and this happened, the comet was discovered in 18, 12, okay? Back to Troy Brewer, and expecting God to do something big. It's associated with the prophetic. It's associated with the prophetic. And we are in the prophetic. Okay? The sum of 10 times 2 tends to be a witness that God has ordered something. Okay? Ring, ring, hey, I want to place my order. All right, God has ordered something. Hear ye, hear ye. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the commandment of the Lord. Okay? Town criers. Alright? He's ordered something. And has to do with the process associated with its manifestation. We are in the time of process. We are in the time of process. The end time events are in process... So get your heart, get your mind, your will, your emotions, get everything ready and get your clarity of focus in what is going on and be diligently seeking Jesus, speaking Jesus, bringing Jesus, be heralds of righteousness like Noah. E.W. Bollinger the fact that it is one short of 21, 21 minus 1 equals 20, that is to say, if 21 is the threefold of 7 and signifies divine, which is the number 3, completion as regards spiritual perfection, number 7, then 20 being one short of 21, it would signify what Dr. Milo Mahan calls expectancy. E.W. Bollinger then gives seven examples of expectancy in the scripture. People expecting manifestation with 20 stamped on it. What is expectancy? Hope. This is the definition of hope that God gave me many years ago as I studied out the subject of hope. Hope is having concrete confidence unwavering expectation that what God has said is which keeps you focused on his word that keeps you moving forward standing on that word and that is your faith faith is manifest hope that gives you the waiting power of expectancy remember we are not a people without hope Jesus, the Messiah, is our concrete, confident, unwavering expectation of living in His glory. Christ in you, your hope of glory. And what do we see in the signs of the times right now is the glory of God in the grace of God. Five planets, fifth planet, amen, we have, we have the seventh planet, we have the crown of the sun, 
And what's interesting, and I don't know if I mention this or if this is going to be in the future, but it is a cycle within a cycle, and it's going to be the brightest. The corona or the crown is going to be the brightest because it's in the eleventh, the eleventh year cycle. Heroes rising. Okay, it's going to be the brightest because because there's the the sunspot cycle, and it's at the eleventh year, and. That means it's going to be at its brightest. Be a hero that's rising. Be at your brightest wearing the crown that the king gave you when they shoved the crown on top of his head. Come on, the fourth time he shed his blood for you and I so that we could rule and reign with him in the authority of his name. We wear a crown that's given to us by God, by King Jesus. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.